Dr. J.D. Williams presents The God Man, the person and the work of Christ Jesus. Available on Amazon, iTunes, and Barnes and Noble. Get your copy today. We invite you to join us for our weekly events. On Mondays at 6.30 p.m., we have our prayer meeting via conference call. Please join us on Wednesdays for our youth Bible study, ages 5 to 17, at 6.15 p.m. via Zoom. On Thursdays at 7 p.m., we have our men's Bible study via Zoom. On Saturdays at 10 a.m., we have our women's Bible study via Zoom. All access codes and passcodes are on the screen. We are so glad that you are led to worship with us today. Please like and share our broadcast. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, if, let's see if we can do that a little bit better. Praise the Lord, everybody. It is that time of day again, this Sunday morning, that we've come to give God glory. As we've gathered here, we give him all the praise. We honor him, for he is our Lord and Savior, and we love him. We want to love him just as he loved us. We are confident that he loved us so much that he gave his very best for us. So when we come into his house, we come into the sanctuary, we come into this place where we gather together to give God praise. It's because he has allowed us another day. He's given us another opportunity, and we are grateful so much so we can lift our hands and say, thank you, God. For, for last night, thank you for yesterday. Thank you for the week that we just came through and you kept us safe. So all the glory belongs to him. To those of you who are in the sanctuary, those who are watching, those who are listening, we're all together. We're one body in Christ Jesus, gathered together in this house for one reason, that we can share what God has done for us and through us during this time. The psalmist is right when he says, oh, give thanks unto the Lord because he is good. Is there anybody who has tasted of God's goodness this week? If you want to just rise to your feet as we begin this time of worship, there's no silent worship. There's an audible cry of thank you, God. I adore you. I, I praise you. Even if I've come limping into the sanctuary, I praise you for I was able to make it one more day. God is good. He's great and greatly to be praised. Down in the city of my soul, I cry out. I don't want rocks to cry out for me because he's done too much. And for that, I can't tell it all. But one thing I can say God has been good. I trust him. 
Let's get ready for our affirmation of faith as we begin this day of worship. We have worshiped him with our daily living, but we've come now to audibly, corporately give God praise and worship him for who he is. Let's read together. We believe in one God, the Father, all sovereign, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all the ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not made of one substance with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for humanity and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was made flesh of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures and ascended into the heavens and sitteth on the right hand of the Father and cometh again with glory to judge living and dead of whose kingdom there shall be no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and life giver that proceeded from the Father, who with Father and Son is worshiped together and glorified together, who spake through the prophets in one holy Christian and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism unto remission of sins. We look for our resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. And with that, we say amen. Remain standing for our reading of the scripture by event discretion and prayer by Elder Dover. I look unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will neither slumber nor sleep. O oh Lord, we say thank you. Thank you from the depths of our being, we say thank you. We at an age where we're so worried. We worried because we don't know what tomorrow will hold. We are worried when we go to school, when we go to church, when we go to home, wherever we go, we are worried. Even flying nowadays, we worried. When we leave home, we're not sure to come back because we need permission to go on board and also to get off the boat. So we are afraid. But you said, oh, when this thing to happen, look up for your redemption, Jareth Nye. You said, don't oh, worry, I'll come when I'm supposed to come, not because this thing's happened and I'm going to come. No, he said, I will come when all that my father give me come unto me. 
So we draw rejoice in the fact. So today we say thank you for the boy, thank you for the girl, thank you for the man, for the, for the woman, well, whoever is here with us today and those who in Radio Land, we just say thank you. We thank you for our preacher. We pray that thou will look upon him, give him the strength as he preached to us. May we live by the word. For the scripture said, study to show thyself for proof unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly divided the word of truth. So we say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We say all these things in your name. Amen. And amen. And amen. Amen. Our hymn this morning, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Can we stand on our feet and begin to sing? Can we stand on our feet and begin to sing this hymn of praise unto the God? And we're going to receive our missions offering during this time as well. So let's stand together. Those of you that are at home, can you sing with us, please? Hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand all of the ground is sinking sand as we begin to rejoice and sing the hymn together we're uh, our ushers are coming at this time to collect and to gather our missions offering we thank god for all of you that are here this morning those of you that are watching on facebook and abroad we thank you at this time, we will not be taking up our um, general offering nor our tithing, but this is our missions offering. So whatever you have, a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you have, thank you in advance for how God has blessed us so that we may be a blessing to someone else. On Christ the solid rock I stand, he sinking sand, oh. On Christ, rock I stand, all of the sinking sand, all of the ground. One more time. On Christ the sun, all of the ground is sinking sand. Amen. We're going to sing the very last verse together and then the chorus, and then we'll end it there and begin to give God praise. Amen. If you like, you can stand on your feet, those of you that are in the sanctuary. I pray that those of you that are at home will sing with us. Amen. Let's sing together. When, when he shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I then in him be found. Dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid, all other ground is sinking sand. 
All of the ground. One more time. On Christ, on Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Why don't you give God praise in this house? Why don't you give God praise in this house? Why don't you give God praise in this house? I said, why don't you give God praise in this house? This is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. I want to see you clap your hands. Can we clap our hands a little while? Come on, let's clap. Hey. Oh, I can't hear you. It's time to magnify the name of the Lord. We're going to sing these few devotional songs. Giving God praise and giving God glory. And we're going to lift him up. Are you ready? Let's sing. Let's start here. We say, God is a good, good God. Yes, he is. I say, God is a good, good God. Yes, he is. You know that God is a good, good God. Yes, he Oh, God is a good God. Say, yes, he Let me see you clap your hands. Hey. Yeah, I get joy when I think about what he's done for. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for. I get joy when I think about what he's hey. Let me see you clap your hands. Let me see you clap your hands, oh, oh, hey, 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 yeah, yeah. Let's declare it. I'm a soldier in the army of, I'm a soldier in the army. I'm a sanctified soldier in the army. I'm a sanctified soldier in the Got my war clothes on in the army I got my war clothes on in the I'm going to fight until I die, say, in the army I'm going to fight until I die, say, Everybody clap those. Yeah. I say God is a good, good God. Yes, he is. I say God is a good, good God. You say. One more time. 
There's a storm now on the ocean And it's moving this whole way If your soul's not anchored in Jesus You will surely drift away Oh, I said drift away, Lord Drift away, Lord You will surely drift away I said if your soul's not anchored in Jesus You will surely drift away oh, Drift away, Lord Mama, drift away, Lord You will surely Drift away. I said, if your soul not hanging in Jesus, you will surely. This is it. Drift one more time. Clap, 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 clap. Thank you, Lord. Hey, let me hear you. Clap, don't say. Before we move on, let me hear the hand clap. Let me hear you clap. Come on. Woo. Oh, I see you. I see you. Put them together. Hey. Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, I say God is a good, good concept. You know, my God, he's a good God, say. Say, my God, he's a good, good God. Yes, my God, he's a good God, say. You know, my God, it's so good to me. Hey. Yes, my God, is so good to me. Yes, my God, he's a good, good God. God is a good God. One more time. Everybody, everybody, clap those hands. Yeah. I say, yeah. 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 You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. I wish you look at your neighbor and say, You can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. You can't. I said, I got the love of Jesus. Got the love of Jesus in my heart. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got the love of Jesus. I got the love of Jesus. Got the love of Jesus in my heart. You've got praise. Blessed New Year to each of you that I have not spoken to. It is good to see you, and God has graciously allowed us to see 22. And we are, I am, I am grateful. I don't know what this year holds, but I know who holds it. Amen. I know who holds it. To our, our congregation through social media and live stream. Bless you, bless you real good. You're part of us and we are grateful. Um, we are living in an age now where we have a church on camera and a church in person. And 
I don't see any change, no far so it's no foreseen change. This is uh, the will of God. This is the time that we are living in, and there are some churches are closed down, but yet we st we are still open for right now. Thank God for that. Um, next week I will lay out some plans for this year for our church. Um, one of the things that we're getting ready to implement again is a new members class. And if you have joined within the year and uh, you are required to be a part of this new members class, it's gonna be on Zoom. So you can study the doctrines of the church and the policies of the church in your home. But we want all of you all to be fully, fully equipped. I want to thank Elder James Lindsay Williams for preaching watch night and last Sunday. The Lord blessed him in a great way and blessed you all. And as I was watching it, I said, dang, I better get back to my job. <laughs> Amen. But I needed the rest. Sister Williams needed the rest. And we're ready to go. All right, I'm going to let him take up the, the offering. Get ready for your tithes and your offering and all that needs to be done. He's coming at this time. Amen. Amen. Good time to tithe and offering. Amen. Thank God for those who are giving at this time. Amen. 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 Also, while we're doing that, um, there were many who were not able. You may be watching on screen. We do compel you to give on the screen as well. Your prompts to give is on the screen. Um, there's three, way to, three ways to give. We ask that you send it in and call someone and let them know that um, St. John is alive and well and we need your help. Amen? Amen. Amen. Also, um, while we are taking up our tithing offering, there are many of you who may not have got a chance to be here on our last day of the year, last year, our New Year's Day service. If you was here, raise your hand. Amen. Okay, good. Uh, many of you was here. There are many who may be watching who may have watched. And if you was not here on New Year's, raise your hand. Amen. Okay, there's a few that was not here. Um, we were led of the Lord to take up a $122 offering um, for um, the new year. 
It was a love offering seed for the New Year's Day service. And we want to afford everyone that opportunity now. God really blessed us in that service. And we want to afford every member that possibly can to bring that $122. If you need an envelope, you can raise your hand and just put watch night service or New Year's Day service, $122. All right, $122. Those of you that are watching, we do compel you at this time to send that $122. Tell someone, tell a neighbor, tell a friend. Tell someone in your family that we're starting off this year planting a seed of $122. So at this time, if you need an envelope before the end of the service, we ask that you participate with those of us who gave. I gave in that offering, and many people gave on that day. So this is your opportunity, and um, you have until the end of the service. You have uh, until a pastor um, says so. Uh, tell someone that they do have time to give and participate in that 122 seed. Amen? Having said that, uh, let's pray for the offering and we'll move on. Father God, we do thank you for these gifts. We ask you multiply it in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Let us begin to worship him before the word of the Lord comes. Amen. Amen. I thank God as I look back over my life and I begin to think things over, I can truly say that I am blessed. I have a testimony. And um, if I don't say anything else, this mm, is a uh, testimony within itself. Just another day that the Lord, Lord has kept me just another day that the Lord has kept me he has kept me from all evil with my mind stayed on Jesus just another day that the Lord has kept me one more day that the Lord thank you God has can be it's one more day that the Lord has can be he has can be from all evil with my mind Straight on Jesus, just another day that the Lord has kept me. Thank Him one, one more day that you, Lord, you kept me. I thank you for one more day. Just another day that the Lord has can be. And if I couldn't say a word, if I couldn't say a word, I'd just wave my hand. If I couldn't say a word, God, I thank you. If I couldn't say a word, I just wait. 
with my hand if you're talking about Jesus. If you're talking about Jesus, if you're talking about Jesus, guess what? He's a friend. He's a friend. If you're talking about Jesus, if you're talking about Jesus, don't you love him? If you're talking about Jesus, he's a friend, he's a friend, he's a friend. Tell him yeah, 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 yeah. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. just another day that the Lord and how many of you in this house are extremely grateful that God has kept you this far I wish somebody would stand on their feet and just say Lord thank you thank you God for the blessings that you have Hear hallelujah back there. Amen, amen, amen. Just another day. He's kept me. The Lord has. Hey, y'all, it could have been the other way around. But just another, another day. Just another day. I can't thank God for tomorrow because it ain't got here. But while I am here where I'm at, I can thank God for just another. Why don't you just turn to your neighbor just for a minute and tell your neighbor, neighbor, Tell your neighbor, I'm glad for one more day that the Lord has blessed me with. Well, let's get to work in the Bible. Joshua chapter 3. 
Joshua chapter 3. And I want to invite your attention to verse 4. This is our text. This is the framework for our sermon for today. Joshua 3 and verse 4 reads from the New King James. And you can keep the Amplified. Okay, change it right quick. Yet there shall be a space between you and it. About a thousand cubits measure. Do not come near it that you may know the way by which you must go. For you have not passed this way before. That last sentence, the bottom line is what I want to tarry around. You have not passed this way before. As you're sitting, can you turn to someone next to you or just look at them across the aisle and tell them, neighbor, we have not crossed this way before may be seated gracious God our father help me to preach make me a better preacher let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight Lord God our strength and our redeemer someone needs to hear a word today some soul is hungry and needs to hear a word. Let your word go forth to heal and to strengthen. Let your word go forth to save those that are yet lost. Let your word go forth to edify your people. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I pray, amen. Beloves, the, the narrative that we are engaged in in chapter 3 introduces us to the second generation of Israelites who were journeying through the Sinai Peninsula the Sinai wilderness. The previous generation out of Egypt had witnessed the omnipotent hand of God deliver them, liberate them, free them from the oppression of the Egyptians under the leadership of Moses. They had seen the awful plagues the Lord God had inflicted upon uh, the Egyptians. They beheld the awesome wonder of the Red Sea as it opened and divided by the hand of God for the escape of God's people, the Israelites. And they had, they had watched God's mighty hand as God closed the Red Sea and Pharaoh's army was drowned. They had witnessed God rain bread from heaven in the wilderness and God provide fresh water for them during their journey, meat and bread. They saw God guide them 
by pillars of fire, by day and by night. They watched the wonders of God. This first generation watched the mighty hand of God move in the Sinai Desert. But this second generation that was born during the journey were not eyewitnesses to these awesome catastrophic events. Now they stand at the great Jordan River with no way to cross. Grandma and them that left out of Egypt are dead and gone. The only two left out of that first generation was Joshua and Caleb. The rest were gone. A new generation now, a second generation now, is faced with the challenge of crossing the Jordan River. They had a promise given to them by Joshua and Caleb that the land flowing with milk and honey, the land of Canaan was theirs. God promised them that. But with this promise came new dangers uncertainties and life threatening situations for they had not passed this way before we know what yesterday brought about we are standing now in the presence of today Facing the Jordan River, but we've never passed this way before. So Israel is confronted with either the fear of the unknown, the river, and these giant wall cities, and even the possibility of death. Or faith, the confident assurance that what we hope for is waiting. Even though we cannot see the promised land, it will happen that God will provide the land that he promised he'll give it to us. Fear or faith. And may I say this, beloved, uh, fear is more powerful than faith when the believer views the circumstances and the situation of the present more important than God's claims. You went through fear last year and uncertainty and the uncertainty of the journey of last year caused a lot of fear because you were looking at the uncertainty and the events that you could not explain. But faith says, I wish somebody would holler faith. Faith says what God has promised he will provide. Take your eye off of your situation right now and look to the God of your salvation. We've not passed this way in 22 before and after it is over, there will be a new challenge of 23 if we live to see it. But be as it may, can you turn to somebody next to you and holler at him and tell him the same God that kept you in 21 
is on the throne and he will keep you in 22. Same God. God is immutable. God does not change. God's promises does not fail. And even though I don't know what this year will bring, I'm, I'm ready to go through it, not with a cocky confidence, but I'm going through it with a humble faith. That God will, God would not have allowed me to see this time if he wasn't going to bring me through. My God, my God. So this is where they, this is where they are. This is where they are. This is where Israel is. And I want to tell you, SJBC, do not let your fear overcome your faith. Can I say that again? Do not let your fear of the unknown overcome your, your faith. Do not let your fear overcome the situation that you're in right now that you don't even have an answer for and don't even have a, a guide map to lead you through the path of 22. I know who's on the throne. I tell you, beloveds, I know who's on the throne and I know who's going to keep me and God is sovereign over 22. Can I get a witness? We're living in some dark days. Who'd have thought three or four years ago we'd have to bring a mass to church? Who would have thought that plague after plague would come and man in all of his technology and medical know-how wouldn't know how to deal with what God has sent. But I want to tell you, listen, listen, irregardless of man's knowledge and intellect, he cannot outwit God and God will win every time. world is disturbed all over the world and I want to say this to you beloveds you who are saved in Christ the world is watching you they're watching how you're going to conduct yourself the world is watching you and thank God for right now our church doors are still open and I'm trusting God that God will not let us operate in fear. If we have to close the doors, we will. But until the meantime, turn to your neighbor and say, we ain't passed this way before. But until the meantime, we're going to trust God. Because God said, we're going over on the other side. And we're going to get through this. I might be broken. I might be hurt. I may be disgusted at some points. I may have carried some hurt, pain, and grief and sorrow from 21 to 22. But the God that let me cross over, see, here's here's what I feel sorry for. I feel sorry for the world that doesn't know God in Christ Jesus. They ain't got no hope. Didn't y'all just sing a few minutes ago, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness on Christ. The silent rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. If you feel like holding your head down when you get out in the world, hold it up anyway. If you don't feel like smiling, smile anyway because your God is sovereign and in complete control and your God is working it out. God. Look what God says in chapter 1 of Joshua. Chapter 1. 
every place you tread upon will be yours for the Mediterranean, Euphrates, and wilderness to Lebanon, everywhere. That's verse 3 and 4. Then when we get to 5, no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. That's 5. Also 5, as I was with Moses, I will also be with you. I will not fail you. I will not forsake you. Verse 6, I will divide this land for an inheritance to Israel. Verse 9, I'm with you everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, God is with us. Every step you make, God is right there. Not Listen, he ain't on the side of you and ain't behind you. Look at somebody and tell him, he's in front of me. That's my assurance that God is in front. And Yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil because God's with me. Death is only a shadow all around us and life is uncertain. You can be here today and gone today, but guess what? The Lord God of the Bible. I wish I had a church in here. The Lord God of the Bible is on the throne and he's guiding my footsteps. And I know that all things work together for good to those that love the Lord, to those that are called according to to his purpose, and I know this, though weak in body, I'm more than a conqueror through Christ that loved me, and I'm going to make it. Is anybody in here know that you... Help me, Brother Sammy. Anybody know that you're going to make it? I'm, I, help me, Sister Barbara. I'm going I'm to make it because the Lord God is with me. He's with me everywhere I go. Watch this. He is with me when I'm in places I ain't got no business being. Y'all missed that. Because some of y'all done been in places you had no business being. Yeah, I want to blow your cover. But he's been with us. Because we could have died in that situation. We could have gone down in that situation. But the Lord was with us and the Lord has shielded us. And the Lord has comforted us. And the Lord has kept us. And the Lord led us out when we couldn't get out by ourselves. Bless his holy name. You may ask. How is it that Joshua and Caleb survived? Uh, they survived because back in the first generation, God told Israel, I'm going to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Moses sent Joshua and Caleb and 10 other spies to go and view the land. And yeah, it was flowing with milk and honey ah, and prosperity, but it also had walled cities, strong armies, and giants. All 12 came back. Moses called a congregational meeting. And uh, the 10 got up and said, we can't make it. It's a beautiful land, but we ain't going to be able to make it. First, we ain't got no military power. These men are well-trained. Second, they're giants. And third, there's no way in the world we can penetrate those walled cities. But Joshua and Caleb said, I know what's out there. I know what we've saw." 
But I also know what we've heard, that God said, I'm going to give you the land. If God says that he's going to give it to you, it makes no difference what's in front of you. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, move on. SJBC is a living witness. We went through some things we've gone through that we've not passed just that way before. But look at us now. We're still here. Building looks nice. The heat's warm. The flags are waving. We're singing. The cameras are rolling. We're here because, oh, because God is leading us. Joshua and Caleb, God left them to be a testimony to the new generation that I am with you and I am going to keep you and I, listen, I'm not going to preach long today. I'm not, not going to, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to preach long today because we have communion, but I will say this. This year may be new to you. Turn to your neighbor. This, we got to check, check this out. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, this year might be new to you, but it ain't new to God. Because before you got here, <laughs> God had already ordained years gone by. Do I have a witness? And there's nothing new to God. Everything that happens, God's already seen it. Y'all better talk to me. Talk to me. Holler through your mask. Everything that's happened, God's seen it before. God has already ordained it. And I don't care if you're sick in body, if you're hurting right now, if you broke, busted, and disgusted, God seen that before, and the God of our salvation will provide for you even though you don't see the provisions. I wish I had 10 people in this section that would get up and shout, it's already done. You, you, you getting upset with God because something happened that you didn't, Lord help, you upset with God because it didn't go your way. Because some, somebody told you just name it and claim it, and you did, and it didn't happen. Well, my advice to you is to go back to the Bible and see what the Bible says. Because if God don't say it, I don't care how many times you name it and claim it, it ain't going to happen. But if God says it, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen, Trust God anyway, for faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things. Hallelujah. See, listen. Listen. Barbara, the only thing that Israel had was a box. Watch this. Don't miss this. They had an ark of the covenant. They had the law in there, Aaron's rod, and some bread in there. A box. A golden box. A golden box. Guess what we have? Turn to somebody and tell them, we got more than a box. Because the box is missing now. But we have a cross. Where Jesus paid it all, all to Him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'd rather have the cross than the box. Yes, but even with them having the box, God still brought them through. Even with God them having just the box, God fought for them. God, God, God brought them through because God had planned something greater than a box. He. He, he, I'm trying to hold myself because I'm, I'm happy, but he, he has something greater than a box. He had 
for us the cross. And our cross, Christ was wounded for our transgressions. Our Christ was bruised. Put Jesus up on the board, that cross picture. For I do I have a witness. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I am healed. Oh, just let me keep my eyes on the cross. The, 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 the Ark of the Covenant disappeared when the Babylonians invaded Jerusalem. And nobody knows to this day exactly where the Ark of the Covenant is. But I tell you, I know where the cross is. And I know there's an empty tomb. And I know who's sitting on the throne. And I know he intercedes for me. Is there anybody here know that there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus? No, not one. Y'all help me with this. I'm trying to close, and I need y'all to help me. I know it's a little cold outside, but don't get cold here. Can you stand on your feet and go to three people and tell them, neighbor? Look at them and tell them, neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, I'm going to make it because of his grace through many dangerous toils and snares I've already already come it was grace that brought me safe this far and grace will lead me on bless his holy name the cross is my salvation the cross is my safety zone the cross is where my help comes from. The cross is where my victory comes from. The cross, the cross is where my joy comes from. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. I'm not gonna, I can't finish this sermon today. I'll get back to it some other time. But beloveds, even though we ain't made cross this way before, even though we don't know what the future holds, I know one thing. We are going to cross over. Okay. All right. Y'all need to help me on this last thing. Bless his holy name. Can you go to 10 people? Go to 10 people if you are saved and tell them I cost. Y'all ain't, ain't moving. Y'all looking. Tell them I cost too much to go down in the Jordan. I cost too much. <laughs> For the Lord to lose me. You want to know how much I cost? Look at the cross. Someone to, uh, you know, ask me, one of my colleagues, Doc, you going to keep the church open? Because I'm closing mine today. I said, yes. Well, you know the virus is contagious. I said, yes. You know, hospitals are closing down. I said, 
yes. And then they wanted to get a little sarcastic. Oh, I guess you think you exempt. I said, no, I'm not exempt. And our people ain't exempt. The situation is, even though we ain't passed this way before, we're going to keep stepping. Give me some hand claps on that one. We may have to shut down, but today we don't. With our mask and everything else, y'all holler through your mask and say, we're open. Yes. Can I say this? Beth, I don't know what the year is going to bring. I suppose it's going to be some challenges. But I also know this, Beth, there's going to be some blessings. And guess what, Joyce? The blessings will outweigh the challenges. Is anybody believe that? Is anybody believe that? I got to tell y'all this. And I'm closing. I, I'm serious. I am. I got to tell you this. My blessings last year outweighed my challenges. And when I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all he's done for me, my soul Shouts hallelujah. Let me stop. They lifted that ark up in the air and the water divided. But even though you come through one thing, can I just tell y'all this? That doesn't mean you're going to walk into the city. You cross over the Jordan, but the city is still walled. Get ready for the Lord's Supper, but I want to give you an illustration. Still walled. So what you do, don't step ahead of God, you see, but what you do is walk over your circumstance. You're able to walk over it because you've been redeemed by the atonement blood of Christ. So I tell you today, walk over your circumstances. Bow your heads. I want to go back to that one of them old school hymns. <coughs> I will trust in the Lord. That's old school. 
This is between you and God now. Between you and God. There may be someone that's led to come to Christ. That's led to be a part of this church. You need a church home. But more than that, you need a savior. If you listen to the camera, write your name, your address, and your phone number. And say, I want to be a part of the ministry of SJBC. If you're here in the building, I bid you run down here now to Christ. 2021 proved to you that it can't help you, the stuff in the world. But I got a Christ in 22. We'll meet you. If there's one, till I, till I die. I'm going to trust in the Lord. Let's go old school. I'm going to trust in the Lord. I will trust. In the Lord till I die. I will we'll trust in the Lord. Is there one? I will trust. trust. One more time, I'm going to trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord till I die. Clap your hands with Stop your feet. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord till I die. In the Lord, I will trust in the Lord till I die. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust. Till I die. And 
Secrecy, thy strength in deepest small child of weakness, watch and pray, finding in thine all in all. Jesus paid it all.
just paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin has left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. Stein for 
that he lost he tied on the cross and I know it was the blood for me it was my Savior's blood it was my Savior's blood it was my Savior's blood just for me, me. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Mm, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. 
just for me. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross. And I know it was the blood just for me. Yes, and he hung his head and died. He hung his head and died. He hung his head and died just for me. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross. And I know it was the blood just for me. Thanks for joining us for another Sunday service. We ask that you continue to share our services, like, and comment as we bring you the word of God, whether by internet, social media platforms, or in person as our doors are open. We ask that you stay blessed and Jesus Christ. May he look good on you.